So the first thing I'm going to ask you is just simply to write down the answer without using pen and paper. Uh, try not to use a, the traditional algorithm, but work out and write down the answer for 18 times 5. So you probably got that the answer is 90. Um, but the answer is probably not the most interesting part. The most interesting part of number talks is really thinking about how you arrived at that answer. As, of course, number problems can be seen in many different ways. And it turns out that not only are students fascinated by the different methods, but they really learn a lot from thinking about the methods, about how and why they work. So I'm gonna, we're going to hear now from some Stanford students who were asked to solve this problem and hear the different methods they used. Uh, that would be 90. Okay, and how did you get 90? I, well, first I doubled 18, getting 36, then I doubled that, getting 72, and then I added 18 again, so okay. that was my... 90. And how did you do that? Um, so I take 18 and I have that. 9 times 5, 45, 9 times 5, 45, add them together, 90. 18 times 5 is... 80? How'd you get 80? Uh, 5 times 10 plus 5 times 8. No, 90. <laughs> 90. Uh-huh. And uh, can you just describe your method of how you got to that? I did 9 times 10 instead of 18 times 5, because same thing. Um, well, I'll do it out loud then. 18 times 5. Okay, hopefully I don't get this wrong as I'm doing it. I do 20 times 5, so 2 times 5 is 10, add a 0. Um, 2 times 5, that, that'd be 100. Um, and then minus 2 times 5 again. So that would be minus 10. That'd be 90, I think. But I might have gone on. Okay, good. 18 times 5. Um, okay, is it 90? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so how did you reach that? Um, <laughs> honestly, I tried doing, like, you know, the whole 18 and then 5 under and like 8 times 5. And then I realized that um, it's easier to just do, okay, well, first of all, you are doing 8 times 5, which is 40. And then if you do the 1 times 5, which is actually 10 times 5, that's the 50. And then just add them together, which is the 90. Awesome. But those are little numbers. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be able to do big yeah. numbers. Okay, that's 90 because 18 over 2 is 8 times 10. I mean 9. It's 18 over 2 is 9 times 10, which is 90. 90. Mm -hmm. So how did you reach it? Um, well, to do it quickly, I separated it into 10 and 8. So 5 times 10 is easy, that's 50, and then 5 times 8 is 40, and then you just add them together. I feel like I should be able to answer 18 times 5 pretty quickly, but I can't. Um, it takes a while. Um, I do know it's 90. I think I'd probably do it uh, with the 18 on top and then the 5 on the bottom and then 5 times 8 and 5 times 1 and then add it together. It's probably a pretty slow way of doing it. 